Here, this is Lord Potato, and uh, this is part two of What If Naruto Was in the Uzanagi. Uh, Uzanagi. In. In. In Zaku. In Zaku? Yeah, in the Zaku clan. Um. Let me just, uh, forgot to mention. I also forgot to mention, this isn't my what. Well, I mean, it is not my what if idea. This was actually. Uh, let me get uh, let me get the name up right here. This is his name. He wanted it. Um, I'm not gonna say the name because I know I'm gonna fuck it up really bad. But uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> so this is his idea, not my idea. So he's the one that wanted this. And I know I still have to do those other two suggestions. One if what if Naruto was a God of War, and I think one was what if Naruto had Death Note book. Spring Break is over, so I couldn't watch Death Note. I have way too much stuff to actually do, and that is do absolutely nothing but sleep. Okay, you'll see, I have a shitty sleep schedule. So, yeah. So, yeah. I'm sorry. I, whenever the flip I have time, I, I'm just gonna watch it. I'm just gonna watch it straight off. When I get home. But, yeah. Um. Today I couldn't do absolutely nothing. I had to work. And when I came home, I fell asleep again. Because, A, I didn't eat in the morning when I go to work. Because I had to be forced to go to work. And, um. The fact that I was also tired. So when I got home, I ate. I did some stuff. And then I just, I was going to do my what if for this one. And then I just passed the fuck out. Oh yeah, yeah I was too tired. Um, But this is part two. And also, the names for him and him. I mean, her. So this is a girl. So the white wolf is called Elsa. And she's going to be giving Naruto Ashi abilities. Now... Okay, so, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I just saw what if they actually just... Hey, Vortex finally uploaded. Okay. Um, so, what, uh, what else is going to give Naruto is... Ice Chakra. Of Ice Chakra and other snow... Yeah. Uh, ice Chakra styles and all that. And snow chakra styles. Yeah. I don't even know this is. Uh, uh, there's snow release. I don't know why that's how I say ice chakra release. No, I mean ice release and snow release. Naruto's just gonna have. And this black one is gonna be called Fang. I was gonna call her. Wait, let me go back to Elsa. I was gonna call her Snowball because. Yeah, every time I ever wanted a white wolf, I'm calling it a snowball. But this is Elsa. I think that's what you're saying, right? Yeah. And this one is called Fang. So, Fang the wolf. Uh, he, his abilities is going to be... What was it? Mm, ash. Ash release. And maybe even lava release. You don't know. Maybe. Yes, it may be. Uh. And of course, my Darko, I mean Darkness, I mean Darky. Did I call him Darky or Darkness? And somewhere around Darky and Darkness. So anytime you're going to hear me say Darky, it's going to be Darky. And so it's just going to be Darkness, okay? So, Darkness is actually a, uh, actually a mythic wolf. So you see here, um... There's no other types of dogs in the Izanagi clan. What the hell did I say Izanagi clan? Damn it! I mean, Izuku and the Izanagi. In the... <sighs> let me search it up. Uh, let me just uh, say that again. Inuzuka clan. So, that was Naruto's. Uh, in the clan, there's actually multiple different dogs and all that. Or wolves and dog breeds and all that. But this is actually a very mythic one. Yes, because. I love the animal and love this dog breed and all that in real life. Even the two wolf ones are also mythic ones. But uh, 
they're legendary and this is mythic okay so um naruto has this one and he has multiple abilities i'm gonna go make up he has darkness release he now has like darkness manipulation because i always give him that and um yeah and healing and maybe other things i might give him maybe <laughs> so yeah um yep that's what the abilities they have and I should probably write that down, or I should just re try to remember and not be a dumbass half the time. Yes, 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 I should probably remember because I'm not a dumb. Well, I mean, I am a dumbass, but not well, not the thing that really get. Um, so let's just start it. Naruto is, is walking up in the hospital. He's saying, what the hell just happened? Let me back up. So you see, last time they were left off. Well, I mean, I should, you should probably just watch what happened last time, but I was in a rush, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna remind you, even how it was like yesterday that I kind of did it, but hey, hey, you probably don't want to go back, but I can, I can, be, ah, you know, I don't care, um, so Naruto was fighting against Itachi, and, um, he managed to cut Itachi's arm, and, uh, Suki managed to cut uh, Itachi's cheek. So Suki got the Sukiyomi, Sasuke got the Sukiyomi, and Naruto got the Sukiyomi, but Naruto managed to use his willpower to get the fuck up and then fall back down. So Itachi was amazed with this kid. So when Itachi was fighting against Naruto and Naruto just passed out, uh, what's it called? Itachi just said. Wow, so this kid is strong. And all three of his dogs tried to, like, try to protect Naruto. So they started, like, kind of barking at Itachi. And Itachi says, I see. So he's he has three little puppies. I'm not going to hurt them. They're animals. So the Ambus and uh, Jonin's and, of course, Ruzin is going over there. And, um... Because they kind of got alerted by dogs and all that. So, yeah. So, they get there and they don't see Itachi. But the t three dogs are right like right next to Naruto. And, of course, Suki. And Hiruzen was like, oh no, Ichiha, Uchiha, and, Izu and Izaku. The Izaku's um, clan. So, also I want to mention that Naruto does not have the same like markings as, uh, what's it called? I know he he's in a what's it called? An Uzi I can clan and all that. But uh Kiba's mom didn't just want it to give the markings. I don't know if they were born with it or they had it to be given it. But yeah, you know how the symbols to see if they're in is Inaki clan and all that? Not in Izaki. The Inazakis. But Naruto uh was thinking it to put it in face and all that, but uh, Kiba's mother just kind of gave him a choice because you know how he's also an Uzumaki. So, Naruto does wear like the whirlpool on like, his back. So, this blue shirt, yeah, he has like a red whirlpool because that's to show he's from the Uzumaki clan. And, um, Hiruzen notices and says, Ah, oh, I see. So, this is Naruto Uzumaki in the Uzun. This is. Uzaku uh, clan uh, clan member. The also an Uzumaki at the same time. Interesting. So Estrella puppies kind of noticed uh, there was more people coming, and of course they grabbed Suki, and they had a little hard time with Naruto because three puppies are kind of barking at them, and they kind of just grab them, and they grab the three puppies to see if they're hurt anywhere, and they also. Got Sasuke. So they all went to the hospital and see what happened. So. Uh, Sasuke isn't badly damaged. Suki isn't worse damaged either. But Naruto has to worse. He's in critical damage. And so Kiba's mom actually came to the hospital and says what happened to Naruto. And uh, Haruzen did kind of explain that we don't know. We will talk to Naruto what will happen. Or Suki. Or probably Sasuke. Sasuke wakes up and he has no clue what Naruto was doing there. But yeah. 
Suki wakes up after uh, Sasuke, and Suki does explain to uh, Haruzen, and I guess, I don't remember what was Kiba's mom. I'm just going to keep calling her uh, Kiba's mom. I think it was Tezuki? No. Probably around there. Yeah, fuck it, I'm calling it Tezuki. Let me research this up, because I'm... Uh, wait. Um, okay, let me, let me do something first. So, Tsumi, that's her name. And I do remember, uh, of course, Kiba's sister. I kind of remember her because it's very easy for me. To, I don't know how I remember her. But her name is Hana. So, Hana, Tsumi, and Kiba kind of went to the hospital. And Tsumi kind of was talking to Suki and all that. Kiba was actually uh, in... Um, not, not Kiba, but Hana was also like a kind of big sister to Naruto. Since Naruto didn't have any siblings and also did not have parents. So, of course, uh, Hana was in the room of Naruto. Kiba, of course, doesn't know what happened. So, he's not there, okay? Actually, yes, he's there, but uh, Naruto hasn't really became friends. They're like, of course, they're like kind of friends but they really don't know that much each other because you know how naruto's kind of cold to almost everyone but not really he's just doesn't like being distracted and all that and so with that happening uh naruto should wait let me do something first <laughs> okay yeah i just had to charge my other phone um sorry Oh, sorry. So, Naruto has... What the call? Sorry. So, Naruto. He is... Uh, what the call? He... What the call? Mm. So, Naruto is still in critical damage. Sorry, I kind of had, like, the biggest brain for it. And I was like, what the fuck? What are I talking about? No. So, Naruto is still in critical damage and still needs to heal. So, Suki did explain how Naruto got two kunai from Itachi to the arm. And when Naruto fell down, like, she repeats almost everything when what I said last episode. But, yeah. And she talks about how Naruto did kind of win Sukiyomi. Uh, well, not Sukiyomi. Like Itachi put him in the uh, Genjutsu uh, that he kind of put her on, and um, it seems that Naruto managed to get up from it. Well, sort of. She did. Well, she didn't know about that one part, but Naruto, of course, he got absolute wrecked. But he managed to get like one good solid hit on Itachi. That means using his sword to cut Itachi's arm. Not fully off, just a cut. And Haruzen was like shocked. He was like, holy shit, this kid. What the hell? Wait. He's not even a prodigy. What? And to see me say, well, he kind of said he didn't want to be in the prodigy list. So. And Haruzen, what the fuck do you mean? Huh? His mind just exploded like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> he just outsmarted the fucking listing of who's prodigy and who's not. The system. And who's like, oh, for fuck's sake. Okay, so I guess Naruto is a prodigy. And Tsumi was like, can you please not tell him that I kind of tell you already that he was a prodigy? Naruto, of course, he's healing and all that. His two wounds that he had on his, like, what's it called? His arms and all that. He had his three dogs right beside him. Uh, like, Darkney. Darkney. He was, like, on top of Naruto. Like, not on top of him, but he was, like, sleeping on top of his head. Uh, what's it called? Elsa was, like, right next to, like, Naruto. And Fang was right next to Elsa. Uh, next to Naruto's bed and all that. Or, like, right next to where he's sleeping and all that. Or, like, he's on the bed and all that. And, of course, Darkney kind of knows. He kind of figured out he kind of has a little, uh, healing thing to heal Naruto. He tries to heal Naruto and it kind of works. It started closing up the wounds and of course Naruto is right now just uh in a like a small car not coma. He's right now just just tired and all that. 
but he waked up and he said, "What the hell has just happened?" And she looks at he looks at Hana and Hana's kind of just putting her head down. She was like, "Why did I let him go out? Why did I?" And Naruto is just like, "Han Hana," and Hana looks up and says, "Naruto," and Naruto says, "Hana, where where am I?" And Hana say, "Don't speak, Naruto. You still weak. Um, you're in the hospital. And uh, what happened to you?" Uh, Naruto just wanted to say, "Well, what happened to me was I fought Itachi, and I almost beat his ass." No, I'm just kidding. He wasn't gonna say that. He was just gonna say. Uh, uh, she wanted to ask him what happened, but she was gonna say, "Never mind." You need to sleep, Naruto. You need a rest. You are awake, but you need a rest. So she runs out and then talks to Susumi, who was with Hiruzen and um some of the uh, medical ninjas and all that. And she did get the doctors and Hiruzen and Susumi. And uh, Isuki was out already. She was f sort of fine. Sasuke wasn't fully injured. And so he managed to just leave and all that. Because he was angry that his brother just killed the whole clan that really wasn't that happened because i'm gonna say that itachi wanted to only kill 20 percent of the clan that wanted to kill how about uh you know ojo just wanted to say fuck 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 no you see here kill all <laughs> so Maro did help just to kill them all i mean obito mask man whatever you like to call him you know, he's not modern and all that. Also, Zagri, I'm actually going to do the what if you want. But I'm still trying to see what I was talking about last episode or whatever. So, yeah. um, Back to the what if. Um, Naruto is kind of just like... He still has his eyes open. And Hana comes to the doctor, Tsumi and Haruzen and even Suki. And uh, Suki wanted to say... Uh, thank you to Naruto, and so that's what she says. She's she wanted to thank Naruto, but she she was there. But then the doctor says she can get out and all that, and so Suki had it to leave and all that. And so Naruto was like, at least she's safe. So she he knows that Suki didn't die, so he just saw Suki, and so he's like, at least she's safe in his mindscape. And so um. The doctor see the critical dam uh, the damage on his arm, and his arm is fully healed. He's like, it looks at Naruto's arm says, yeah, that looks is fully healed. And uh, Haruzen is like, what do you mean it's fully healed? Huh? And, uh, and what's it called? Tosumi was like, wow, it must be his Uzumaki blood line and all that. Oh, fuck, 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 damn it. Um... So, yeah, that was happening, and so he was like, Caruso was like, Oh, I see, he's in the news of Maki. Huh. But he doesn't have the nine tail. Maybe the Uzumaki had a little bloodline of healing factors. So, I'm going to say that the Uzumaki, you know how they have large amounts of chakra and all that? I'm going to also say that they do have a, also a, a small, it looks like a Kekka Genkai. That they kind of use the water to heal themselves. Sort of. They, um, most, most members, they kind of got the Kenka Genkai to like be made and all that. So they kind of used the water to heal themselves and all that. So Naruto is going to get that Kenka Genkai. With the chains. So uh, uh, Huruzen sees no water. He says, there's no water anywhere. Could it be? One of those puppies. Hmm. Nah. Like, who isn't just like, nah, not the puppies. They're too, they can't be that. When in reality, Naruto doesn't know about his Kenkai Ken about the uh, Uzumakis. He only knows about how the Uzumaki has large amounts of chakra. He doesn't know anything about the chains and the water. So, it's a two, it's a three puppies. But, it's one of the puppies. It's Darky. Sorry, I don't know why I moved like that. <laughs> um, so, what's it called? So, Naruto tries to, like, 
um, moves his hands and arm. He's like, it's perfectly fine now. And who's almost like amazing? The Yuzumakis are brilliant. And Tsumi kind of hugged Naruto, but at the same time hit him in the head, saying, "You idiot! What were you thinking about?" And Naruto was like, uh, "I just wanted to say, um, like Naruto doesn't know the reason why he did it, but he did it. He just wanted to see." How strong he was. Not really. But he just made up a lie. And Tsumi just hits him again. Like that's bullshit. And Naruto says. I know. <laughs> he doesn't really know the reason why neither. He just heard a lot of bro screaming and all that. And wanted to save people. And so Tsumi believes that. And so Naruto. Hiruzen was like. My boy. You're pretty freaking strong. <laughs> Um, Medma and Norway. Norway, of course, isn't bullied that much and isn't abused by the villagers, but Medma is. So, yeah. And so, Naruto is just like, uh, thank you, Lord Dirt. And Lord Dirt is like, okay. And, um, so that happens. And so, Naruto is still sleeping, and when he fully recovers... He gets out of the, uh, what's it called, hospital. He's finding to be released, able to release, and go to the academy. He hasn't been in the academy for two days. And Aruka has got informed how Naruto got up against Itachi and went toe-toe, sort of. It was mostly annihilation, but still, not really. Uh, no, Sasuke was the one that got annihilation. Suki managed to hold up her own, and Naruto's the only one that managed to go sort of toe to toe to uh, what's called Itachi, but not really. So Suki is training her Sharingan. She didn't say anything about her Sharingan. She wants to keep that secret. And when uh, when Naruto was going to his training spot, because it was the end of the day of the two no the three days I should say. I'm going to say he hasn't been in the academy for three days. And it was the afternoon. So when he got out, of course, school kind of ended the academy thing. Not ended fully. It was just a day ended. Um, so he goes to his training. But Hana and Tosumi did tell him, don't go to your training. Go straight to the house and rest. But Naruto was feeling fine. So when he uh, told his little three puppies to come on, he got dark knee on. Did I say darkness? Yeah, I say darkney was on his head. Like, on his head with the hood and all that. And, of course, he threw other puppies were on his shoulder. And he was just leaving. And, yeah. Actually, no. Uh, uh, what's it called? Elsa. I really want to call her Snowball, but never mind. Elsa. He kind of had her holding and all that. He had her holding and all that. On his, like, arms. And Fang was falling over. He, he wanted to be on the ground. Following... Naruto. So yeah. Uh, Naruto was going to his training first. He wanted to train a little bit. Just a little bit. Because he doesn't want to tell uh, Tsumi or Hana that he got released earlier than usual. Because he had it to be released like at like. It was in the afternoon. So it was like 1 o'clock that he got released. And it was his release time was at 5 o'clock. But 1 o'clock. He just wanted to be at least earlier. <laughs> so he just wanted to go train. And when he got there, he saw, what's it called, Suki right now training. Like training uh, what what Itachi did. Like the backflip and threw the shurikens up. And then threw, uh, not shurikens, threw kunas and like threw them again. And hit the targets. Like she had different targets and all that. And uh, what's it called? Naruto was like... Uh, so he had Elsa on his hand, like arm, and he had Fang right behind him, and he had Dark Knight on his head and all that, and he kind of looks at Suki, and Suki was like, oh, um, hello, you must be Naruto Uz Uzunku, and it, Uzuku, Uzunku, or something, fuck, I keep forgetting the name, so Naruto said, ah, yes, um, so you must be uh, Suki. And Suki was like, yeah. Um, 
then she says, thank you for uh, saving me. And Naruto says, no problem. He kind of just scratches back of his head. And what's caught? And uh, Suki just said, well, um, I hope you weren't badly injured by my brother and all that. Naruto says, no, nah, I'm good. Like, he, of course, he kind of still felt the pain and he just still went on and started fighting. What's it called? Itachi, but hey. Uh, yeah, those are just memory. So, Naruto says, nah, I don't know why I did it in the first place. Uh, what's it called? Suku's like, that's amazing willpower you have to just keep up with Itachi and all that. Naruto says, thank you? And Suki said, well, I should definitely explain, uh, um, what's it called? Not explain. She, he already knows about her name and all that. And since he already knows he, she's in Uchiha and all that. And so, uh, Suki says, well, um, is this your training spot? Naruto said, yeah, but I can go find another one. And Suki says, no, 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 no. That's, that's not, that's not necessary. You, you can train here. Uh, so, um, they kind of had an awkward conversation and all of that, and they kind of, Naruto only trained there for 10 minutes and all that, and said I had to leave, he has to go, and Suki said, is it just because it's awkward, uh, you don't need to go, I can leave and all that, and Naruto says, no, no, it's fine. Naruto was just training in like kunai fat and all that, and physical strength and all that, and What's it called? Suki was like, wait, what do you mean you gotta leave? Uh, Naruto says, I have to go to, of course, um, my, uh, what's it called, uh, clan. And S Suki was like, alright, do you have a clan? And since Suki kind of felt down about how she doesn't have a clan no more. And Naruto says, don't you have your brother, uh, Sasuke or whatever? And she says, yeah, but he looks like he got a little bit more arrogant and more emo and like dang I thought he was already arrogant now he has a bigger ego and Sumi was like yeah that is true but um that's not really my plan I mean he is my brother and we are the same clan and all that but I'm sad that how my, how my clan got wiped out she's sad and Naruto did want to tell her about his other clan that got wiped out. And so that's what he did. Also, I'm going to do something real fast. God damn it. YouTube, for some, for some reason, keeps turning off and it's actually annoying me. So that's why I need to pause my music. Uh... Huh. Um, what's it called? Um, sorry, I'm just going to go back my, my music, and now she goes to nuts. I mean, yeah. So, Naruto is just saying, oh, I, I'm i sorry about your clan and all that. And Suki says, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I mean, at least you have a clan. And Naruto says, that is true, but I'm actually half Uzumaki. And uh, Suki did ask about, what is an Uzumaki? And Naruto says, the Uzumaki was from the Whirlpool. And, um, he then says that how they got wiped out by three nations. And Suki was horrified. She was like, what do you mean got wiped out by three nations? Naruto explained how the Uzumakis are, like, very strong. And how they had a bunch of chakra. And able to have very good ceilings to seal anything. Like, they can seal off the chakra. The physical, just making numb and all that. And Suku was just like horrified at the same time, amazed about Naruto's uh, other clan. And Naruto was like, Yeah, so that was my other clan. Um, so of course, Suki and Naruto kind of became friends out of that because they had one thing in common they have their clans got wiped out. And Naruto did say that. Tsumi and uh, Hana and the other clan members aren't with my family because my my mom and dad kind of got killed in the Nine Tails attack, and so 
Su Suki was also horrified about that, but not to say that's why I kind of don't really talk to other people. I mostly just keep everything by myself. And Suki was like, then do you want to become friends? They said, he said, yeah. And so, yeah, they became friends after that. It's called, uh, Naruto kind of went, uh, went around and all that. He went back home and all that. He had Elsa on his arm. He had Fang right behind him. But Fang was kind of getting tired and all that. And so, he kind of grabbed Fang also and carried him with, like, Elsa and all that. And Dark Me was on top of him, just, like, sleeping. <laughs> and he then heard some dogs, like, a dog getting beat up. And so, he heard that, and Darkney, Fang, and Elsa kind of heard that, and he was running towards what the hell that noise was, and he found three Ganning, three Ganning, they're like 12 years old or something, no, they're like 13 years old, and they right now beating up a dog. This dog is, of course, <clears throat> from another, what's it called, in Shuka clan, uh, member, and all that. And he saw the dog just bruised up and all that. And the three kids are just beating him up. And Naruto just had the rage in him just to be like, hey, get away from him. And the three getting kind of looked behind him. It's like, huh? A kid. And Suki kind of followed Naruto so Naruto didn't get in trouble and all that. Or like, get into a fight or anything. And he does see Naruto get into another fight. And she's like, oh no, not again. And Naruto says, Get away from him. He's like, it's like, oh, you really think you can win? You have three dogs and we have three. Gen we are three Gennings. You really think you're gonna win? And Naruto just didn't like his attitude. But then he just, then he just wanted to do a jutsu to see that if they would get afraid from him. And his mind, he kind of got like this jutsu symbol to do. So he was doing uh, jutsu, and the three getting was confused. And this jutsu is actually from uh, Fang. Uh, ju uh, what's it called? What's it called? It's the Ash release. Ash release. Ash dragon. And the three getting just see this giant black dragon coming towards him, and he was like. They're like, oh, wait, what? <laughs> just knocked them all over to, like, over the wall. And Shiki was just amazed. And Nars was amazed also. He's like, wait, what? And my god damn it. Why does my phone keep turning off and all that when I'm trying to hear music? So, yeah, that's happening. And, um, it's caught. Naruto just says, whoop, that was amazing. And so he decides to grab the dog and Darky was kind of like next to the dog and all that and kind of healing it. And the dog was like, bark, bark, bark. And, um, no, no, no. Uh, this could be his fourth little puppy, but, you know, not really. Maybe. <laughs> maybe I will, maybe I will, like, give him another dog because, you know, Naruto got to be overpowered. So, of course... This, uh, what's called a shadow release, he kind of did, a shadow jutsu, no, not a shadow jutsu, ash jutsu was a, uh, at least an S rank, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, no, I'm just kidding, uh, it was, I mean, yes, it was an S rank, so let me just say S rank, and so he just basically destroyed three Gennings, and Suki was amazed, and Naruto grabbed the dog, and then told his little puppies to come on, and so, yeah. Actually, this dog is actually going to be probably Suki's dog. Maybe. 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 So, yeah, they go home and he does uh, go to Tasumi and uh, what's it called? Hana and all that. The house. And so, he goes over there and he talks to Hana and uh, Tasumi about like how three Gennies were bullying up this one little puppy that he has in his arm. And how uh, Tsumi and Hana were kind of angry. They were like bloodless ready to murder some Ganings. And uh, Akiba kind of walked in and felt the bloodless. And he was like, nope. 
walks back out. <laughs> he was like, nope, I'm not having that. And Naruto then discovers that he, he said that I have a a release, a uh, chakra release. And Tasumi and Hana did ask which one. And Naruto say, Ash release? And they both look at him dead eye and say, wait, what? And Naruto says, yeah, I kind of did a, a jutsu that just out of my head. And so, yeah. They kind of go outside and tell Naruto to do it again. And so Naruto does it again. And he says the same uh, hand signs and all that. And then said, Shadow uh, shadow Jutsu. Shadow style. Not shadow style. Why do I keep saying shadow style? Ash style. Ash dragon. <laughs> and they see this Ash dragon just hit the target and obliterate it. And she was like, Hmm? 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 Naruto and Naruto says yes uh, to Sumi and to Sumi was like when the hell did you can learn this to do this Naruto says I have no clue I just thought of that in my head and Fane kind of like jump on Naruto and all that and like decides to like yawn but when he yawns he's like does like some ash out of his mouth yeah and uh then uh to Sumi just says wait huh Hmm. Because she does remember about um what's it called Naruto's father. I forgot what I called him. I don't remember what I call his father. Did I call him something? Uh yeah. I don't remember. Um so Tosumi does say about his try to remember about her father. I mean not her father, Naruto's father, and how his wolf was actually special. His wolf can actually do some jutsu that his father couldn't do, but he kind of got the release jutsu, like some chakra, like some like chakra elements release styles from the wolf. And so she thought of, wait, the three wolves. I mean the three, the two wolves and one dogo. Does he possess? Yes, Naruto possess some different abilities from the dogs. So I have a little whoop chip. Damn, I did not know that whoop chip on all. So yeah, Naruto has that, and um, so that was happening, and uh, I'm gonna have to leave it off here. I know this is uh, I just left it off on another cliffhanger, but I'm sorry, I have to do stuff and all that. So have a nice potato day, potato night, and potato sleep.